Yes. My name is Mahmoud, I'm from the Palestinian Alliance. Yes. A few minutes ago, you were saying that people like me are the real danger for Israel. And what I'm saying... No, no. You are here. You are You are, are, are no, no danger. I, I'm there. I'm there. I'm temporarily here. Ah, you mean... You mean Israel lets you back? In occupied Palestine. Uh, it's it's another, it, it, that's the case. The, the question is, yes. you have been for the last uh, hour or so making God as Israel's God a real estate agent. Yes. And if every government on this earth that will, will, will start reshaping history mm -hmm. according to biblical premises, mm -hmm. not according to legal terms that we all abide by international law here, you are, uh, then, then, I, then, then you, you know, you come from New York. I mean, I don't see any business for you to go and live in Palestine. We recognize that there were Jews who were living in Palestine. Uh, Hitler is that Arab? He's Jewish. He's, he's, he's European. I'm sorry. Yes. And, and I don't see why you are, you, are, you are putting all the blame on the Arabs of being anti-Semitic. We are Semitic people. We are not anti-Semitic. We don't want to kill any Jews. But you are exaggerating and actually you are breeding the kind of ideology that will make people give up hope and maybe turn to terrorism, which means to me you are also a terrorist yourself. I'm impressed constantly by a Palestinian who speaks of the observance of law, international law. And not, sir, over there, over there. sir, you spoke and I listened, now it's my turn. This isn't the uh, Knesset, we speak one at a time. In any case, in 1947, the UN voted and decided upon the partition of Palestine into a Jewish state and a non-Jewish state, an Arab state. That was international law. I don't recall the Arabs jumping happily about and saying we will obey the international. You thought it was a bad law. I understand that. But when you don't want to follow law, you don't follow law. That's the first thing. Secondly, you're talking about you, you don't want to kill Jews. Of course not. In the 1920s, you didn't kill Jews. In the 1930s, you didn't kill Jews. The Mufti didn't, did, did not call for the killing of Jews. Between 1936 and 1938, 510 Jews were not murdered. In 1947, and 48, 6,000 Jews were not killed in a war that you began, not you personally, but the people that you were forced back. Your father, perhaps, I don't, I don't know. So, theref so therefore, mm -hmm. I'm not impressed in the slightest at your sudden call for peace. If you want peace, fine. Let's sign a peace treaty at the present boundaries, and I'll be happy to give the first check to the UAA. United Arab appeal to create a Palestine state in Jordan. I don't trust you. I don't believe you. And as an attorney, I can tell you that the presumption on your part is not one of innocence, but of guilt. And I don't have to make the steps of compromise. You have to make those first, first steps, and not me. You are using selective morality by applying a certain moral standard to the Jew as being special and exclusive, and the Arabs are being animal, and you know we should kill them and get rid of them. And at the same time, you expect us to be so gentlemen and so nice to tell you, sir, okay, we're going to leave, and here is a. Uh, I don't expect anything of you. I'm not. I, I'm not asking anything of you. The massacre of Palestinians by Jewish terrorists. There are maybe some Palestinian terrorists. I don't deny that. I'm not but also there are Jewish terrorists. terrorists. Why don't you accept I'm that? I'm speaking of 30 years prior to the. Year. You see, 30 years prior to it, of the murder of Jews inside that country by not terrorists, by Arabs, by Arabs, by Arabs.